can you forecast the weather in mid-Atlantic? <laughs> um, I'd Christmas? say probably quite wet. Yes. <laughs> good guess. Potentially so, a bit stormy at times. Yeah, good bet. <laughs> I'll pray for dry weather. It's amazing. Um, now then, I could not start this week without showing you these pictures. Uh, Jonty sent this picture in from Lytham St Anne's, taken yesterday, and he said it was one of the strangest clouds he has ever seen. Did you spot them? These are actually called mamatus clouds. Now, they're linked to the arrival of cumulonimbus clouds. The air turbulence within the cloud, it basically drops out cold air from the bottom and it makes these lumps, a bit like Maltesers, popping out from the bottom of the clouds. And they often mean that heavy rain, hail or thunder are on the way. So thank you for sending that picture in. Matt Taylor has actually done a lovely article on it on the BBC Weather website if you want to see more. So, back to our weather here in the northwest for the next few days. What's going on? Low pressure. Now, it was a bit of a wet start. It calmed down with high pressure, but then low pressure returns again as we head overnight tonight. And we're looking at a weak warm front and then a bit of a sharper cold front coming through. So at the minute, if you are out and about this evening, dry, but we'll get cloud increasing. The Isle of Man likely to see the rain first. The rain will push through across all parts. Now, this rain could well get quite heavy for a time and it'll be quite blustery as that front pushes through, but that means there won't be a frost. So temperatures about five to eight degrees. You could hear the odd rumble of thunder from that rain overnight as well. Tomorrow there could be a few dry bits and pieces, but there'll be a lot of showers wrapped around that low as it pushes away to the northeast. And again, some of these showers are likely to be quite sharp, quite heavy. Temperature wise, seven to nine degrees, but we'll be in the center of the low, so the winds will be lighter. Temporarily, then, we get cooler air from the northeast, but we see the milder air returning as we head towards the end of the week and into the weekend. And with high pressure building, things actually are not looking too bad for the weekend. Wednesday, it's going to brighten up. There'll be some early clouds, some showers out and about as well, but we should see plenty of sunshine developing into the afternoon. Temperature-wise, for Wednesday, we're looking at between about four and six degrees. It will be a cool-feeling day with clear skies overnight into Thursday. So we get down to about freezing, touch of frost. There'll be some rain around, brightening later, and then relatively calm as we go into the weekend, Roger. So someone oh. called Tracy's just sent us an email, a uh, tweet, rather, saying, why are there no Christmas trees on display in the studio? <laughs> what? You've got one over there. What a massive one, Tracy. I've got one here. You are big, Roger. Maybe you're blocking it, you know. <laughs> yeah, look I at that. Feel so, someone's lobbed a cracker halfway up this one. It's just not... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Sorry, Gay. I'm looking at the fairy. Yeah, the shell. shell. Shell, isn't it? It's very What's nice. That? How are your trees doing? Mine looks like a not ba decorated badly, his tree. Not badly decorated. made bed. If I do it, thankfully Mrs. <laughs> Askin does. Yes. Mine doesn't got anything on it yet. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good night.